fun night that you've had since you've been here? Honestly, I, I think it is. Um, I don't think it could have came at a better time. I mean, just at the at the halfway point of the season, um, sometimes I think an open day can come too early. I think it can come too late. But, you know, in this case, it came right on time. So uh, definitely great to have this, this time to, you know, get a lot of guys healthy just to <clears> – <throat> Make sure we finish this second half of the season strong and, you know, just get us mentally prepared. So, um, I don't think it can come in a better date, honestly. You sat down with Coach Morrison, maybe mapped out what you're trying to accomplish these next two weeks. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we talked about it. Um, you know, we just got to make sure that we control what we can. You know, honestly, you know, what, you know, you never know what's going to happen in college football week to week. You know, some things kind of went in our favor just over the weekend and, you know, put us in a situation where things could potentially happen the way we wanted to. So we got to continue to keep this doing what we can as a program and continue to try to win it at a high level and uh, everything else should fall in place. So, but, you know. But you individually, is there anything that you're trying to, to um, get right? Yeah, you know, this is a big emphasis of, uh, you know, footwork and, and things of that nature and just, you know, make sure I'm mentally prepared every week, you know, and, uh, I mean, when you got work weeks like this where, you know, you don't have a game, it just makes it to the point where you can work on the small things that much more because you don't have to get ready for a game. So, uh, big week for us, though. How do you feel about the, the balance the offense and cheat? I think you guys are top 10 overall nationally, but also in top 30 in rushing. It seems like you guys have got a lot of good balance going out there. Great balance. And I think that's where we need to be as, a, as an offense. Um, for us to be the type of team that we need to be, we have to be balanced. I mean, there can't be days where, I mean, there might be days where it's kind of lopsided, but at the end of the day, it has to be a consistent, you know, run, run pass balance. And I think we're doing a great job of that. I think coaches calling the plays and setting up things in that nature for us to have a, a great balance to keep teams off edge. So, um, you know, we're doing a great job pass protecting, run blocking, and uh, we just got to keep getting better. What do you got to do to, for you? What do you got to improve on? Um, again, um, just small things. I mean, coming to the, to the, uh, you know, at my like pre post analysis of the game for me, you know, when I want to watch the film, I just don't think that, you know, I, I feel like some of my mechanics was there, but I feel like I kind of took for granted a little bit on some of those throws I miss, throws that I mean, can make in my sleep, you know, just post corner ball sails high, um, you know, just trying to aim a little bit too much here and there, and. Uh, you know, simple things that you can correct. That's the best part about it. So um, it's small things for me, definitely. Could you talk about New Hopkins and how he's basically progressed as a player since coming to Clemson and how that's pretty much affected your overall relationship with him in terms of, like, quarterback and receiver? Um, you know, New is one of those guys where, I mean, he gets better, you know, each year, each game. He just cont uh, continuously improves. And, uh, I mean, that's what you got to be if you want to be an elite player. There's always room for improvement. But with a guy like him, you know, uh, he just comes to work every day. It's consistent. Um, he always wants to improve, always, always wants to be his best and perform at a high level, and that's what he's been doing. Um, again, I don't think there's been a receiver performing like him in college football right now, not at the level he has been. So um, it's just been, it's been fun working with him. Um, you know, over the offseason, we know we got a lot of work in, a lot of chemistry in, and uh, it's paying off, you know, and uh, he gets runs great routes, really a technical route runner. Gets great separation, uh, explosive speed. So I mean, total package and receivers. So it's been fun working with. Him. What do you have to do to get Sammy going? Um, I think I mean we just got to keep you know uh, for him. It's just you know keep playing. I mean he's been out for a little bit, and I don't think it's anything like. I just think there's this to the point where he just got to, you know got to keep getting reps out there, and uh, you know because he missed a couple games. So I mean honestly, he might have to catch up to some things of that nature, but. I mean, it's still the same Sammy as been before, but you know we just got to keep working in there. Did you get to watch any of Florida State's loss to NC State? I did. We actually it was, it was a pretty big group of us watching the game, you know. So it's uh, kind of exciting a little bit. <laughs> did you find yourself a Wolfpack fans there there toward the end? Uh, just a little bit, you know. Just a little bit. Um, again, uh, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. Halftime, I remember watching half of it at you know at the end of, at the tailgate after the game, and I was like. And then uh, later that night, you know, as they stopped, as we weren't scoring, I was like, it's going to be interesting. And uh, you know, Mike Glennon had to do a pick, and I was like, and then next thing, you know, <laughs> things started going. It was, it was a crazy game, honestly. So, 
it was up and down, so I'm still watching though.